Hi, everyone. So I'm really thrilled to introduce you today to Farron, who has joined our staff team. Um, her role will be with events and office support. Um, so what that boils down to is um, this year, between January and November, I'm going to be working um, remotely from the UK. So some of the stuff that I normally um, looked at, look after in the church that um, are just kind of behind the scenes stuff that keep things ticking away nicely, like ordering the coffee and work, like making sure that the photocopier is working and also um, helping events that are physically in the building run smoothly, welcoming people who are renting privately our facility, um, lots of stuff that is um, super practical and all contributes to the life of Lambrick Park Church. Um, I obviously can't do from the UK. So Farron um, has stepped in to that role this year and we're absolutely delighted to welcome her to our staff team. Um, she's just finished her kind of first week um, on the job and um, yeah is already just like fitting in swimmingly and um, we're just yeah really really delighted to have her with us. So in this interview um, I just asked some questions um, with Farron. I hung out with her for a little bit so that we can all get to know her a bit better um, and um, so just sit back and enjoy getting to know Farron. Here we go. Yeah, so, okay, so my first question was, um, could you just tell people, like, who who you are? Like, tell us just a bit about you. Introduce yourself. <laughs> yeah, I think, I've, I think I know myself enough by now. Um, <laughs> so, I think, yeah, I've moved from South Africa five years ago. Um, so, I've been in Canada for five years, and in Edmonton for four years of that five years. So for the most part in Edmonton and just recently in BC. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I, I don't really know what to say. I guess I, I work in mental health care and in outreach. So I'm pretty passionate about that and about people. And yeah, I love outdoors. Um, pretty in general person, I guess. <laughs> Well, Canada like you know I know because I've done it like emigrating is a is a huge thing like what what why Canada and why did you move well I guess I knew I was gonna move from a young age like it was just always something that my parents encouraged me about and told me like you know that the world is not just Africa there's a lot more to the world and so I was always curious and Canada came up because I had already been to the States. Um, I tried to immigrate when I was a lot younger, when I was 19, and I got so homesick and I just couldn't do it. <laughs> so I wanted to try again, but I didn't think it would go well again in America. So I thought, well, Canada, you know, I did think was maybe similar to America, but maybe I'd have a different experience. Um, so I came here and it was completely different. <laughs> Uh, obviously and I have had a much different experience I've actually immigrated and haven't been overtaken by homesickness yet <laughs> so. yeah yeah I bet the um the weather was a big shock when you got to Edmonton hey had you ever seen snow like that before no i had never been in the cold um or in the snow I originally landed in Port McMurray so it was freezing it was in February and I came from South African summer so I got a good shock <laughs> oh, wow. so how how are you finding Victoria so far like have you like it must have been kind of a bit tricky to find your feet in the pandemic and everything but are there like places of in Victoria that you've been able to explore and you enjoy yeah, I guess that's what I love about Victoria. Um, I don't know if you've been in Victoria your whole time, but no. I mean, if you have, oh, <laughs> you're fortunate. <laughs> yeah, so like I love Edmonton too, but you had to drive a, way out, a ways out to go and get a good hike and stuff. And so here, yeah, that's just so accessible. And I love Victoria. Um, it does feel different in the pandemic. Like I don't know what Victoria is like when there's no pandemic. <laughs> Right. Um, 
Yeah, but I do love the, I love the city. I love uh, the nature here, and I think I'm gonna stay. So, <laughs> hey, I'll gain. <laughs> Have you, is there like a hike that you've done that like you would consider your favorite hike in Victoria? I think I've only done like just trails. I don't think I've done major hikes yet. The one I want to do is the Juan de Fuca hike. Mm. Uh, but I have done like the Goldstream trails and uh, Mount Doug and just all the ones around here. And yeah, love them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We sure are lucky. Yeah. So, so how did you come across Lambrick? How have you, you know, how, what kind of, drew you to apply to be on our staff team we're really glad to have you by the way <laughs> thank you <laughs> well it, the funny thing is I used to live just down the road from Lambrick Church when I first came to Victoria and I was walking everywhere because it was summer and so I'd walk past Lambrick all the time and I'd always wonder about the church I'd, I'd wonder what was inside it wonder what kind of people went there I used to just think about it as I walked past it but I never um you know it, it never came into my mind to like join the church or look them up online or anything um but yeah then a few months later when I, I I have got you know my major job my main job and as I was working there I just felt like I needed something different um to kind of balance out the kind of work I do um just being in different environments is kind of helpful to me and so uh, I was sort of looking for a second job, but not seriously. And uh, I just came across the Lambrick Post, and um, my heart jumped. I was like, "Hey, I want to, I want to be in a church. <laughs> like, I want to be working in a church. That's awesome." So yeah, I and then I read the job description, and it's something that interested me too. And so I saw it as an opportunity to learn, but also just like love being in the church. And you know, I saw it as an opportunity to be in the church in a time when <laughs> you can't really be in church. <laughs> <laughs> right yeah 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 so okay so you've been um this is your kind of first full week isn't it that you did some you, like you've probably done about a week's worth by now right just over yeah more or less yeah um so um what have been the good bits surprising bits silly bits <laughs> um so far um, I would say the the good bits is definitely just, you know, that I enjoy the work a lot, like the kind of work is fun for me, I, I like admin, and I haven't had much opportunity in it before, so, you know, I do a lot of outreach and frontline work, mm -hmm. um, so we give all the paperwork to other people, <laughs> so, yeah, just being involved in that is kind of fun, um, and then, yeah, the other good bits is definitely being around you guys, you know, being with the staff is like, yeah, I can't even like indescribable. It's just awesome to be around Christian fellowship and, you know, feel like poured into so much, even though I'm just doing admin, like, you oh. know, I feel <laughs> like I'm receiving a lot more than, you know, I'm giving. So oh. that's definitely the best part. Um, surprising okay. parts um I guess I haven't been awfully surprised yet but um I would say it's just a different dynamic at this church like I come from a, a bit of a different church background and it's always awesome to you know just learn to work with different people different styles of leadership um and it's yeah it's been growing growing for me it's been growing for me <laughs> I think you know what I'm like you are growing yes <laughs> yeah Aww, that's lovely I really enjoyed the other day when we were talking on teams and um all the little daycare kids were walking past the office and they were like so excited to have somebody to wave to again <laughs> like, they're so cute <laughs> it's great yeah um so um, how can we as a church be praying for you, welcoming you, supporting you um, as you settle in to kind of both like joining our staff team and also like being part of Lambrick. Like, yeah, how yeah. can we be supporting you right now? 
Well, I think, um, you know, I feel very supported already, to be honest. Um, just, you know, I feel very received and um, welcome. And I guess to me, the only thing I really need is patience to get to know everyone. And, you know, I'm really looking forward to the day that church is back together in person. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, just until then. And I guess like praying for me is a very similar prayer for all of us just to get through this time to the point where, you know, we are able to have the support in person that we used to have. Mm. Um, so, yeah, like I think like I'm doing OK with it, but it's just like every now and then it feels like, OK, this is getting a bit much. When is this going to end? <laughs> you know, and so just that patience, I suppose. And yeah, yeah, I think you're right. I think that's definitely what we're all praying for. And it's yeah, it's good to name that. Yeah. Thank you for being honest about that, because we're definitely I, I think all of us are in the same boat. Yeah. And yeah, we're so grateful that you, you know, even though our ways of connection are having to be a bit more creative right now and like not what we're comfortable with, not what we choose, like mm -hmm. you joining the staff team is helping us stay connected in this wonky weird in the middle way, you know, and <laughs> that's really valuable. So we're really grateful for you. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. So my last question is, um, the um so i'm gonna be sharing this little video in our newsletter on thursday and um every week in the newsletter i share a song of the week and i would love for you to pick the song this week so is there a song that like either is it could be a worship song or it could be a song about god or a song that reminds you of god um that you would like to share with the lambert community and so tell me what it is and why you picked it Okay, um, yes, I got a song and it's by Steve Bell. Do you know him? Yes, yeah. <laughs> I think Canadian Christian singer okay. who I would come across. Do. Sorry? I bet lots of people watching will know him. I don't piss Oh, him. right. <laughs> yeah, I know. I was surprised when I came across him. Uh, I've never heard of him before. So I guess all my favorite songs of his are like ancient albums <laughs> because they're still very new to me. Um, but yeah, I came across him in Edmonton and I was able to like go to a few of his shows and was really blessed by, you know, the ministry through his music. So I chose one of his songs and it's called uh, Psalm 90. And it's just, you know, it's based off of Psalm 90. And I think it's really timely for like where we're at in this place in the pandemic and in the world and for the church as well. Well, that's great. Thank you. Yeah, I look forward to um to sharing it um and listening to it myself. Yeah. <laughs> 